Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Legion, where Vanessa, Smee, and I are about to talk to Coda Steelclaw, our last Archdruid that we have to fetch for Malfurion. My strength and, uh, it looks like we still have some bad mojo to deal with. Out of the dream and the demons below. Malfurion Stormrage, a name I have not heard in centuries. He was teacher to many of us. If he seeks my audience, I cannot refuse. I will go to the Grove of Cenarius, but first we must awaken the rest of my clan. They slumber with no way of waking. A mysterious force of great power is at work against us. I am still too weak for my hibernation. Please, stranger, go and free them from their dreams. Awaken eight druids of the Claw. Something, someone, intended us to never awaken. I sense their presence is still here in the barrow. Coda takes a moment to stand. My body is weak from deep slumber. If you would aid us, clear out our barrow of any enemies. Kill eight dark fiend intruders. A new Give me a moment to catch my breath, hero. Long years of vigil have taken their toll. Understandable, giant bear druid. Now I've heard it called barrow and barrow um, in multiple ways, so we're just gonna kinda go with that. But it looks like we've got some bad mojo down here. Dark Fiend Dream Warg? Ooh. Yoink. Let's go ahead and say hello. Now, I did a little bit of World Quest off camera and got myself some new boots. Swindle's gear level is 833. And um, I'm also doing the second Where in the World is Matthias? quest. We have a few of those to do, but I'm going to try and knock all of those out today. And then maybe we can go ahead and move on to uh, more of the actual rogue campaign. And you are covered in vines. Wakey wakey. There you go. Ooh. I'm awake, I'm awake. Ah, he's like me. <laughs> being woken up prematurely. I just need to get one of those uh, sound generators that can build with engineering and put in that opening song from The Lion King. The uh, Hasylvania. <laughs> They'll wake everyone up in a, in a hurry. If I wake up really early at cons and I have other people staying with me in the room, I, I actually seriously consider and have done on multiple occasions woken them up to that song playing full blast uh, which I know makes me that <clears throat> which I know makes me that guy but it's okay sometimes it's fun to be that guy now how many of these demons do we have to kill three more let's go ahead and look at our objectives and five druids rescued I know we can certainly do that. I think there's some more bad mojo down here as well that we're going to have to do after we finish these two quests. Which makes this the, the busiest um, quest hub because we had to deal with the Furbolgs first before we re even came in here. Oh! You little shadow stepping guy. Normally, rogues are the ones who do the shadow stepping around here. So I'm going to use kidney shot. Or, excuse me, uh, cheap shot. And I like that because with Vanessa's kidney shot, we can pretty much keep a lot of these binkies... Um, what's the word? Just locked down. Now, demons can be sapped, fortunately. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of them patrolling this area. Let's go ahead and zap. There's seven. Uno mas. And a sap here. And a free druid here. I will send you to eternal sleep. Oh. So you're aware of me. Everything would have been cool if you had just kept your mouth shut. But no. Mark of Malorn. Strength and haste trinket. Ugh. 
not really what we need. Let's go back to Steel Claw and let her know the job is done. And then maybe we can figure out who is causing all the bad mojo here. And there's a lot of demon folk here. Where shall I strike? Well done, hero. With my brethren at my side, we'll be ready to aid Malfurion. And excellent. The chambers are clear. Very impressive, rogue. I sense powerful magic emanating from deep within the barrow. Whatever is down there weaves a powerful spell, entangling us within our dreams. I am still too weak, but your skills are quite impressive, hero. I can see why Malfurion put his trust in you. Go and eliminate the source of this magic. Kill Morphael. Oh, that's an awesome name. And we'd be able to get something blue. In Sonorius' I in name, but be careful. I sense powerful magic down below. Bad medicine. As you can see, we've got that... These kind of red blood spiderweb thingies. Tendons. There's Morphael. Hello, friend. We are prisoners of the droids no longer. Soon your world will become ours. Yeah, the satyrs definitely have a chip on their shoulder. Let's go ahead and activate the dread blades. For fun and profit. And he has a lot of attacks that I can't block, so... Oh, he has tentacles. And... Shadow forms. Ooh. That's not nice at all. But it's okay. He is very much dead. Now, Steel Claw should, if memory serves, be outside now, gathering her strength, and we can go ahead and head back to Malfurion and let him know the job is done and check up on uh, Cenarius' condition. Pass by the Furbolgs just because. Shivering Ashmaw Cub. Ah! Alright, well, I'm a sucker for a pretty face. So we're going to head up here and take care of this uh, rare spawn. It is actually a pretty cool little encounter. Because you got to play rescue. Got to find where it is, though. I think it's up here. Yeah, there we go. There's a cave in Lunar Wing Shallows. And as you can see here... It looks as if woodland sprites have slain this little bear's family. Visibly trembling, the cub looks up at you with desperate eyes. You hear rustling in the woods nearby, and the forest sprites are coming back. The baby bear won't survive on its own. Are you willing to rescue it? Yeah, I'll save the- I'll save you, you poor little thing. The rustling sounds grow louder. Oh, here they come. Prepare for their attack. What are you guys doing attacking a little bear like this? There's nothing more satisfying than killing you guys. And we've got Janiki the Puncturer. Alrighty. And this is a rare spawn, so let's go ahead and do all the things. Do as much damage as we can. I'm just drank some thistle tea for that added firepower. There we go. Along with some healing, should be in good shape. Boop! Shoot you for the stun. Victory! You rescued the little bear. The shivering Ashmaw cub paws at you, trying to get your attention. You kneel down and hold out a hand. The baby bear sniffs at your fingers, looking up at you trustingly. This bear cub is too little to fend for itself. Will you take it with you on your travels? 1500 quests completed. I like the fact that we got our 1500th quest doing that. Now, I already have this animal, or this uh, pet, but I am sure I will find it a good home. I know I have a lot of my friends who are pet collectors and they love to do the pet battling. 
and all that, so they'll make sure it grows big and strong. Now, let's go ahead and talk to Steel Claw. Don't don't like to keep her waiting, but the fact that we saved a bear cub probably makes up for it. Let's go ahead and uh, use the glider here in the trees for a little bit of quicker travel. There you are. The wilds will protect. In my dreams, I saw the satyr's leader. His face was familiar, though. I could not see it clearly. I pray to a loon that it is not too late. I will go to Malfurion at once. Sablehide vest. And... I will travel to the Grove there we go. Scenarius shortly, hero. Thank you for your help here. Now that my clan is assembled, we shall return to the Grove of Scenarius. Speak to Malfurion when you arrive. We will find out the cause of Scenarius' illness. Return to Malfurion Stormrage. A new Time is running out. You are needed at the Grove of Scenarius. We must act swiftly. Right oh, can I ride the bear? I'm awake. I'm ah. Let's keep it like Come on, let's go. Mighty bear steed. But we'll head back to Scenarius' uh, spawn point. I actually think there's a quest before, or not spawn point, but where Scenarius is currently laid up. And I think there's another quest that we can take right before we get there. That should be pretty handy. Now, I'm not stopping to mine anything here because all they have is laystone. And we have plenty of laystone. I've got almost an entire stack of 200, which is enough to build pretty much anything that I need for engineering at the moment. There's that quest. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, this yep, lovely lady. What is nature's call? Whisper the spirits of our night elven brethren who have become one with the forest. But their minds and the way they perceive things are far different than in life. You should bond with this little one. See through its eyes as it travels to the hidden pools and grow some trees. Guide the wisp through the hidden pools to grow eight trees. Okay there, wisp. Let's go ahead and bond with the soul of a night elf. What could possibly go wrong for a goblin? Oh wow, Vanessa. That turtle can haul. Now, this is interesting. Search for the budding trees, but watch out for the hungry fish. Now remember... Night Elf warriors and heroes and all that stuff, if they become one with the forest, they too can get eaten by jumping fish. That is one heck of an afterlife. But we basically go along the bank here. And as you can see, we are causing trees to sprout. And the good news is we can actually stay here on the river bank, or on the shore for the most part and just avoid the fish entirely. Like so. And this is just a, a really quick quest that gives us some XP, and if you're doing this first, it gives you a blue item for doing it, so it's a pretty good deal. This is also a world quest, depending on the day. So we avoid the fishy ripples. And uno mas and it should return us right to uh, where we started the quest. There we go. Let's zoom in on this wisp. As you can see, it's got that night elf face. Is Vanessa still chasing us? Man! Got a hot rod turtle. Let's, uh, let's never do that again. Oh, thank you, Traveler. You have truly helped the forest today. 785 ring. And this is just all for the money, all this gear. And Swindle loves his money. So, let's see, uh, check out Scenarius' condition. I assume... Ooh. As you can see, he is not doing well. Greetings, friend. Wonderful. The Archdruids have already assembled. Nature stands with you. Swindlegear, you've returned. 
Good. I have counseled with the other Archdruids and concluded that Cenarius's condition is merely a symptom of a much greater problem. Your experiences in Moonclaw Vale make that clear. We need help. There is one who can bring understanding to these events. With Theon gone, we must ask that you aid us in reaching out to the Lady of Dreams. Speak to Malfurion when ready. And we get a relic. An Emerald Bloom. We're actually close... Or we're getting close to um, leveling up the Dreadblades again. May nature guide your path. And I'm ready to aid you, Malfurion. Let's do this. May the winds be at your path. Who is uh, the lady, though? Uh oh Uh-huh. By our powers combined. Ah, Yasira. The former green dragon flight aspect for answering our call. We face a dire threat. No need to explain, Malfurion. I have seen what is coming. Uh-huh. The Emerald Dream is being overtaken by the Nightmare. The Legion and the Seder Xavius are to blame. Shaladrasil, the World Tree, has fallen to the Nightmare's corruption and spreads its curse across our precious land. The Nightmare Lord must be vanquished, or Valshara is lost. Okay, now you're talking in terms I can understand. How may I aid you? Behold, Yasera, the Emerald Queen. Um, blood. Run through, potency. Uh, let's do that one. May nature guide you. I'm I'm kind of hoping that some of this stuff actually procs ep or procs epic because it still may be useful to us. Okay, yes, Sarah. What does the former green dragonflight aspect I dream have for us? Because she's mortal after the events of Cataclysm. Very powerful, though. Cenarius is in danger. If his condition is not reversed soon, he will be lost to the nightmare that threatens the Emerald Dream. To spare him that fate, we must have the Tears of Alun, the same relic you were sent here to retrieve. Alun's temple is not far. Go there. Find Lianus. Show her my seal and instruct her to release the Tears into your custody. Hurry, Swindlegear. Time is short. To the Temple of Alun. Well, let's go ahead and travel that direction. Excuse me, Archdruids. Now, Temple's up here in this direction. This was close to where we found the body to head to Bradensbrook and get the Blackrock Hold stuff started. I kind of skipped past this area, but now we can give it our full attention. Because the Temple of Elune is in bad shape as well, as you can probably guess. Uh, yeah, there's the nightmare. And a demon lord. Gravix the Desecrator. He is a pain to kill, unfortunately. But you do get a quest for killing him. So this is Elune's most sacred temple, who is the night elf goddess. You, you bear the mark of the dreamer. A loon be praised. You arrived just in time, visitor. Shalandrasil's roots are at our doorstep. The tears of a loon are a sacred artifact, protected by my order for thousands of years. I tell you this so that you may have understand the gravity of your request. That said, Ysera is noble and wise, and I trust in her guidance. You will find the tears in a vault at the eastern edge of the temple grounds. Proceed with caution, though, as that area has been overrun by demons. Retrieve the Tears of a Loon. I can do that. Isorain? Isorain? Nightstar. 
the massive roots of Shalandrasil are spreading a horrible corruption throughout the forest. If we are to save Alshara, we will need to find a way to stop the encroachment of the World Tree. If you bring me enough corrupted root samples, I may be able to discover their secrets. Collect 30 corrupted root samples. I think I can pull that off, as that means... Cutting down demonic trees, I am all for that. So the tears, of course, are on the other side of the big demons. So, let's head right into the belly of the beast here. First things first. There's corrupted root samples. I actually thought we were going to have to kill the trees. Enjoy this moment, mortals. Hmm? Oh. Now, I hate this demon lord because he talks a lot of trash the entire time that we're here. Reminds me of some of the rare spawns from Mr. Pandaria that would just emote every two or three minutes. Roots, roots, roots. Now, the world trees, very important to the overall uh, <laughs> complexion of Azeroth. So this thing being corrupted by the Nightmare is no bueno. No bueno at all. Corrupted. Well, at least there's a lot of samples in each route. I'm going to go ahead and vanish because I don't want to deal with you guys right now. I'm not really... I'm not being hired to kill you. At the moment. And it's, there's not a world quest, so you guys get to live. 23. Let's go ahead and kill you since you're just kind of sitting there. I'm not being paid to kill you, but I will kill you for funsies. Just to let you know. Uno mas, and we sh that should do it. There we are. Ooh. Foolish mortal. The tears of Elun are mine now. If Malfurion wants them back so badly, he can seek me out. I'll be waiting. To be honest, considering the fact that tears were on the other side of where people were defending the temple, this is no surprise. Apparently it was in that box. So let's go ahead and travel back. We're gonna take the fast way. Just gonna <laughs> skip all that nonsense. Whoop! Goblin engineering, making your life easier. Have you collected the root samples? It is as I feared, Goblin. This corruption is irreversible. Our only course of action is to somehow find a way to fight it at its source. Ooh, he just got some bad news. Speaking of bad news... Xavius has stolen our sacred artifact? Alun, forgive me. I have failed you. Yeah, well, these things happen. Thank you for your efforts that the temple is safe for now. But the tears of a loon are stolen, and Shalandrasil, the world tree that once protected this land, is now an instrument in the hands of our enemy. The Emerald Dream itself is being overrun by nightmare. The hearts of our people falter, their faith tested like never before. Return to Ysera with my report, Swindlegear. Such as it is, I shall plead with a loon with, with what time I have left here. May we somehow yet prevail. Speak with Ysera. Eh, chin up. It could be worse. You could have the Scourge here, too. And the old ones. You could just have all kinds of nastiness. And then you're just dealing with the Burning Legion. And a few Nightmare creatures. Gotta look at that Silver Lining. You know why? Because the Silver Lining looks expensive. And therefore is something that Goblins would like to see. And I do not have... Okay, well... Goblin rocket boots. Oh, I hit the branch. That was tragic. Oh well. Got some bad news for you, Dragon Lady. 
I have seen your dreams. This is dire news indeed, Swindle Gear. Draw upon your courage now, friend, for Azeroth needs her heroes more than ever before. Every dream. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be fine. No. Do not I want have wasted too much time here. No more. Oh well, now Furion's had enough of this crap. He's gonna go take he's gonna head straight to Xavius, I would imagine. Scenarius' loss has left Malfurion unable to see reason. Make haste to the World Tree. He may be headed there, all too ready to take reckless risks. Meanwhile, you and I will follow his trail from here. Malfurion must not fall. Uh, Dragon Lady? Can I ask you a question? If uh, Malfurion running away was such a big deal, why did you not stop the slow-moving bird as he passed right by your shoulder? Eh? You got some sort of, uh, non-interference claws? Well, I mean, you got claws, but... Eh, never mind. Time may pass, but the dream is eternal. The loss of Cenarius to the nightmare is a devastating blow to us all. Though Malfurion's rage is justified, his hatred of Xavius has burned for centuries, and I fear that his blind rage will be used as a weapon against him. May Elun guide us in our search for him, lest we have yet another friend to mourn today. Speak with Ysera to search for Malfurion. Together. And we will go ahead and search for Malfurion at the beginning of the next episode, guys. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, the story gets kind of a kind of epic from here, too. Um, Valshara, I saved this one for last because this one has one of the most, I guess, far-reaching consequences of any of the other storylines. But if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.